Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you to uh, City Hall here in Brockton, Massachusetts. I want to give a personal shout out and a thank you to Maria Texera, who is a, a dedicated city employee who came to our office, came to our office recently and asked if we would consider uh, Portugal Day. And I said, absolutely, we will. We're a uh, diverse, inclusive, welcoming city, and flag ceremonies really uh, are special parts of uh, fabric here in the city. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, an intern in my office, Austin Batista, who, is a proud, who comes from proud Portuguese background. So Austin, thank you for everything that you do. I want to uh, recognize Senator Mike Brady. Senator, thank you for being here. I want to recognize uh, Plymouth County District Attorney Timothy Cruz. Tim, thank you for being here. I want to thank the city clerk, the other Cruz, Tim Cruz, related to Tom Cruz. Good movie too, Tom. <laughs> And then lastly, Ward 7 uh, School Committee member, Timothy Sullivan. Thank you for being here, Tim. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today to really uh, show how we're so supportive here in the city of Brockton. I also want to thank Maria because after we do the flag raising, uh, Maria has, has brought some wonderful food. I want to thank Brockton Community Access and Mike for always uh, filming it, and Mark Vasconcellos from the Enterprise for always coming to our events. Again, my name is Robert Sullivan, I'm mayor of the city of Brockton, and this is really just a wonderful day. A wonderful weather, wonderful people with a, a, a common purpose to, to proudly display the, the flag of Portugal. Um, before I be begin, I, I just want to thank my staff, a lot of the mayor's offices here, a lot of, uh, of the uh, department heads are here. I see Troy Clarkson, the CFO, is here. I see Megan Bridges, the city solicitors, here. Um, I, I want to thank uh, custodial staff for always working to set up uh, when we have this. Uh, but Portugal Day is an important day for the Portuguese people. It's a day on which communities honor, remember, the quintessential Portuguese citizen, legendary soldier and poet, Mr. Luis de Comio. Well, I'm going to say it right because I practice. Comois. Comois. I practice a lot in my office. Comois. Luis de Comois. 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 Mr. Koish uh, in the 1600s wrote poems flawlessly depicting the rich history of uh, 15th century Portugal, capturing the true essence of the strength and pride of the Portuguese people. And for this day, Portugal Day is, 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 is as of today. And the celebration began June 10, 1911, and it's to uh, really commemorate Mr. Koish and the service to his nation. Today, uh, I want to proudly, as Mayor, read a, a proclamation an official proclamation, and I am going to present it to Maria Texera. So, Maria, if you could please come up. Oh. Proclamation, Mayor of the City of Brockton. Where is Portugal Day? It's Portugal Day, celebrated by Portuguese people worldwide, commemorates the death of poet and national literary icon Luís de Comoís on June 10, 1580. And whereas Mr. Coís acquired fame through his poems, which flawlessly depicted the history and achievements of the Portuguese people. And whereas, despite being suspended during the Carnation Revolution of 1974, celebrations again resumed in 1975, and were expanded to include, to include Portuguese immigrants and their descendants living in communities worldwide and proudly today in the city of Brockton. Whereas the city of Brockton is proud to celebrate the contributions of Portuguese Americans and to encourage its residents to learn more about the pivotal role played by Portuguese Americans in the city, in the Commonwealth, in the country. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the City of Champions, the city of Brockton, to proudly proclaim today, June 10th, 2022, in the city of Brockton, as Portugal Day. And I urge all residents in our fine city to please join me in observing this day, and recognizing all the wonderful contributions the Portuguese culture has made to our community and truly our city of Brockton. And I want to give this to Maria as the mayor. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me. Thank you. Thank you for giving me chance for my flat and Brockton and in my family and Portuguese people. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. At this time, I'm, I'm going to ask uh, Senator Brady to say a few words, just Attorney uh, Cruz to say a few words as well. Senator. Thanks for being here, Mike. Thanks, Mayor. I want to thank everyone for coming today. I know everyone's schedule is busy, and I'm just here to 
honor our Portuguese community and Portuguese heritage in the community in the city of Brockton and the South Shore. And I'm just happy to be part of this great education and God bless you all. The eight crews, please. Thanks so much, Mayor. It's great to be here today. I want to thank the Mayor and the City of Brockton for doing all the different flag days that are going out to It's really important. And this one today is really important and special to me, being a Portuguese American and that my grandparents came from Porto and Villanova de Gaia over on the mainland of Portugal and my grandmother came from St. Michael. And when they immigrated here more than 100 years ago, they were living in Bridgewater, but they worked here in Brockton in the, in the shoe factories. And that's how they started and got going and got their families going and worked together to, to help my dad, who eventually became a plumber and owned a plumbing at Candusi and Cruz over on Pleasant Street here in Brockton years back. And I'm so proud of that. And the interesting thing to me has always been that you know, when my, grandparent, my, my granddad came over from uh, Portugal, our family name was Da Cruz. It was D-A, small D-A, capital C-R-U-Z. And they took away the, the D-A. And I like to think that I kind of brought the D-A back. Uh, being the, the Plymouth County DA at this point. So, uh, so I, I always appreciate this. I, I always appreciate the, this city and its background and its heritage, and I'm so glad to be here today. Uh, I don't uh, really speak Portuguese, no fala Portuguese, uh, but I will say uh, bow tie. Thank you very much. When I was running for mayor, it was, I was running to be the 50th mayor, and I was 50, right? So it was 50-50. But I think Cruz just beat me. D.A. Cruz, Da Cruz, good job. That was awesome. I'm going to ask Mr. Sullivan from the school committee, Tim, if you'd like to say a few words at this time. I just wanted to thank everybody for showing up here today. My wife said to me about a year ago, you should start attending these flag days. I didn't realize there were going to be so many. Sometimes it's twice a week, five times a month. But you got to knock it off, Bob. But anyway, I'm, I'm glad to be here, glad to be invited, and congratulations to all the Portuguese people. You deserve it. And I didn't realize how diverse this city is. We must have raised 25 flags. It's really diverse. It's great to be here. And I'm proud of everybody here of Ian the Portuguese flag. Thank you. I also would like to recognize and ask a school committee member from Ward 4, Tony Rodriguez, if you'd like to say a few words. Oh, he's shy by nature. Not during the school committee meetings you want there. Um, but again, uh, it's always uh, great to have elected officials take time out of their busy schedule to come here. Um, and we will continue to do this for every single ethnicity. Uh, in the city of Brockton because that's what Brockton's all about. Uh, it's coming together and also uh, celebrating uh, the different backgrounds and that's a special thing. So I'm gonna ask uh, everybody and anybody that wants to join us and I'm gonna have uh, Maria and Austin and Da Cruz, Mr. DA, uh, please come on over and let's do the flag collectively. And the DA, sure. So I do I do want to actually uh, I want to again thank uh, Maria Texera uh, she's brought some books over here uh, literary uh, informational pieces about Portugal and customs and uh, some wonderful food so Again, enjoy uh, outside here at City Hall, the People's Building. Enjoy this fine weather. I also want to recognize uh, Councillor uh, Shirley Azak for being here. Councillor, do you want to say a few words? Come on over. Don't be shy. Um, happy first Portuguese flag raising in the city of Brockton. And I have to tell you, um, I heard all about the great things Maria was making last night, so um, I couldn't miss this. So uh, looking forward to many more Portuguese flag raising. I'm not Portuguese, but my sister-in-law is, and it's Portugal has an amazing history and an amazing um, culture. So we look forward to celebrating it here in the city of Brockton. Thank you. So again, please help yourself with some uh, unbelievable food. Uh, Enjoy yourself today. Let's always celebrate the diversity that makes the Brockton the city of champions. God bless each and every one of you. Have a nice afternoon. Thank you.